Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing in standard best of one. I was actually playing another deck, uh, testing some new decks for some videos and I ran against something very similar to this list. This deck seems cool though. I should take inspiration for a next time. And it doesn't even require a lot of rares because this is common, this is common, this is uncommon. So it's actually a fun budget deck. And it's popping off. And I had to try it because, you know, I love Golgari, I love Graveyard Synergies, and these are so many new cards from the new set. And all the new cards from the new set that are in this deck are common or uncommon. So it's a great way to include new cards and just experiment with no spending rares or Mythics wild cards. So if that sounds interesting to you, you really need to stay tuned for this deck. So one thing you need to know is that this rewards you very much for cards leaving your graveyard. That can be exiling, it can be a blitz ability, it can be returning to your hand. So there's a lot of ways that creatures can go uh, from your graves, that creatures can leave your graveyard. Uh, so we have three cut downs. We have four snarling Goround, which is a new card. One mana, one one mana. So whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you surveil. Surveil is really important because it allows you not only to look at the top cards and kind of choose what you're going to draw next, but also putting cards in your graveyard is really relevant for this deck. We have four Rebel Pet Mavericks, which is a one mana, one one. Whenever enters the battlefield, you're going to surveil two. And then you can exile it from your graveyard to put a plus one plus one on target creature, activate only as a sorcery. And even though this one mana ability doesn't seem excellent, it is. Because you're going to put these in the graveyard for free with so many surveilling, or, or even your opponent kills it and then you get the ability and that's a creature leaving your graveyard. So it's going to activate all the engine that we want to get going. We have four seed of hope, build two cards, you may put a permanent card from among them into your hand and you gain two life, it's instant speed as well. Four willow gaze, which is the first card that rewards you for getting cards leaving your graveyard. It has trample, one mana, one one, but it's going to grow because whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, you put a plus one plus one on Willow Gaze. Whenever it dies, you gain life equal to its power. We have two Tenacious Underdog, which again, the Blizz ability eats away that it leaves the graveyard. We have four Moss Hook Dread Knights, which the shenanigans with going to the grave and then you being able to cast it again, uh, are again a way to creatures leaving your graveyard. We have one Tirashender, we have four insidious roots so this is this is the thing of the deck the inspiration it's a two-man enchantment and it's even uncommon creature tokens you control have add one mana of any color if you tap them whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard you create a zero one plant creature token then put a plus one plus one counter on each plant you control so the idea of this deck is that you're going to make a bunch of plants and then the plants will give you mana to start getting more things and, and your plants will grow and... And you ask me, but Philippa, how do we make our plants give you mana instantly? Because, yeah, you're going to make a plant, but it has summon sickness. You are correct. But for that, we have the savior, Tivar, because you may activate abilities of creatures you control as though as those creatures had aced. So our plants are going to immediately be able to give us mana to start the roller coaster going and it's so much fun when it does. Plus one and tap one target creature, but what you really want is the minus two, where you mill three cards, then you may return a creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you have Insidious Roots, you have Tivar, you minus Tivar, you mill cards, you get a creature, you make a plant, the plant immediately can give you mana. With that mana, we're going to do uh, Exiling the Maverick. You create another plant, you put a plus one plus one on all the plants. Do you see where this is going? Things can start escalating really quickly with this deck and that is why it's so much fun because your opponents are also confused not knowing what is going on. Like, what is this card? Like, sometimes they see it with the bat or duress and they're like, ah, why would I take that card? It I don't know what it does. But then they get it by the plants. So yeah, today we are vegging at it. Veg vegging? Veggie? Because we are going to destroy our opponents just with plants. Let's play some games. 
But before the game starts, I just want to tell you two things, because I forgot. If you have uh, the survey lens, the new ones, they are rare, craft them. I don't have wild cards. I have to draft to get them. Uh, but yeah, if I had the four rares, I would probably craft the survey land. It works so well here. Uh, yep, yeah, Restless Cottage as well, when it attacks, you can exile a creature from your graveyard, so that's another way to start getting plants. And the other thing I wanted to say is that don't forget to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, because it really helps the channel. And now, for real, let's go. You know what? I can, I can do this. Oh, not the rest. I think by Baitivar. Maybe the roots, who knows. This ogre is cute though. No, I have too many lands to be the rest. This was the perfect hand, but I just needed to not get the rest. Oh, Totsi's bug. Just kidding. Uh, okay, I can do this. Do not look twice. And do not dare, opponent, to dress me again. Okay. Lily's fine, Mish. I mean, I do have lands, you know. It is what it is. Here, take one land. Cultivar here. I'll take it. Actually, I do need land because I want to double do this next turn. Not bad. Not bad, opponent. What are you going to do? My plants are planting. Any day, I'll just do it again. I want my plants to give me mana. Children is a good card, but I don't think it's good enough. After the things I'm doing. You know what I mean? That's a trade I don't mind doing. I'll just draw a card, because why not? Oh, no. I only have three. I mean, okay. You know what? Fine. I'll do this just to draw a card. And I can blizz it next turn from the grave and get things going. Hopefully no board wipe. Okay, it's shielded. I mean, not happy to see shielded, but I think it's fine. With the amount of plants that I'm planting, the scenario looks good for me. You know my land. No problem. No problemo. Um, I actually do need the wire to be alive. Okay, enough is enough, right? I have the plant army. The plant army. Okay, I'm going to keep this for sure. And we can start with the gore round. Okay, that's fine. This Tivar is definitely going to be sweet. I need that in the top. So next time I can do that plus the Maverick, then I can start Tivaring. Hopefully they don't have a lot of counters. Oh no. Okay, fine. You know what? They go for sure for Tivar, right? And then I can play the Indius roots and okay. 
You know, it's not too bad. I don't want that. That can go to the grave, and I think as well. I'm going to pass. No, that's not the one. You have to go for the inch. Oh, it's creature. Okay, that's actually fine. It's actually fine. I don't mind it too much. I actually needed mana there. Ooh. Ward one. I can leave with the ward one. Do they have a way to protect that? But actually, okay, that's fine. Might as well attack. So far things are close. I need this Tivar back. That's fine. Ooh, not chili, not chili. Okay, goes to the grave. So probably they have chili, they need land or something. I don't know. Okay, that's, you know what, I'll take that. I'll take that as a sign. I'm just going to attack with this one because this one I can exile from the grave. Yeah, they are missing mana. It has to be, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think I attack first. To test. Like, do they run counters? I have no idea. Okay, let's try Tivar. Hopefully it's not a counter. No. Okay, no counter. That's great. Okay, let's meal and let's hope for a creature there. We got a creature, that's great. I'm actually going to get this one. Now, things will start popping off from here. As you know. As you know. So now we kind of have mana for days. We might see a removal spell on there. That's fine, because I already got my reward. Which is my little plants. And let's draw, because why not? I cannot block anyway. Let's pump things, let's start rolling. I mean, usually that's where they concede, right? It has to be. Ooh. Unfortunately, I think... Oof, that flies. Yeah, so many things flying, definitely not ideal, but my plants will grow, so... I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have enough to kill them after I get things from the grave. We gotta be planting, we gotta be planting. Okay, I can keep this. It's actually really good. Ooh, it's the Boros deck. I have no idea what this does against the Boros deck, but I'm curious to find out, I guess. I think I want to save this Seed of Hope. At least I gain a bit of life. So next time I can do this plus Seed of Hope, which is great. Yeah, I know about these. It starts small, but it grows. Fair enough. Let's 
So I start with this which is the perfect way to start our plan. And we really hope we put a creature in the graveyard there. I'm going to take it. Need Taivar. What else? Okay, so let's play the Seed of Hope. We do take one damage, but we gain two life, so it's fine. Ooh, that's perfect. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. I'm sure they are full of removal. Okay, so unfortunately not what I wanted there. I mean, I actually do need the land there. So I'm just going to play this as a 3-2 for now. Could have drawn the land. Maybe that would have been better and play it. Yeah, I think that would have been better. Ooh, just face? Okay. Aha, temporary lockdown. No! No, that's brutal! That is brutal. I was not expecting that, y'all. Yikes. I mean, I do have a way to deal with that temporary lockdown. Eventually. How many tier shenders do I run? Uh, one. So I have one out in this deck to take care of that. I mean, it has trample, so I might as well take it. Do take damage there, which is not great. I'm just going to pass. It's temporary lockdown, man. I was not expecting that. No, I was not. Okay, I'm at four. There's a lot of ways to deal three damage. Four is a bit more difficult, I hope. Oh no. Okay. I just have to hope I don't die. Okay, that's fine. It's a wedding announcement, y'all. Not great, but three rats. Am I dead? Probably. Okay, so if I block this here, and I block this here, and I block this here, and here. I think that's enough. Yep, more than enough. I was not expecting that, y'all. I was not expecting that. I go first, I keep it. It's a good end. Unfortunately, I don't have the plant maker, but I have Tivar and some other cool stuff. So what are they playing? Being on the play also really helps this deck, I feel like. Okay, green. Uh, okay, so it's enchantments for sure, Zs. So let's start with this and then I can cut down. Gas is not bad, but honestly, it's not what I'm look, looking for. I need the enchantment, so there you go. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. And I need to kill this one. 
Bye bye. What does Tivar do for me? Let's see. Okay. Could be worse. Yeah, I have to protect Tivar. And that's the thing, like, if this deck doesn't have the plant maker, things starting be being a bit rough. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that, okay. I mean, all is fine, but what can I do? I have to double block that. Unfortunately, damage will still be dealt. But they don't have enchantments, right? Okay. Seed of Vope. Okay. Maybe I can start there. Okay, I got a land. That's not exactly what I want to be getting. No, no, no. I'm going to get this. At least getting this bigger. Now we're talking. Now we are starting to talk. Actually, I love Tivar, but I have to do this. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to pass. See where they up to. At least the enchantments don't cost less now. They don't get the reduced cost. At least I have the roots. I can I, now I can work. You know, I just need to find another Tivar. But I think this was good to stabilize and now focusing on winning after. Because most likely, if I didn't do minus Tivar, mm, possibly my things would just die and then Tivar die inclusive, and then I would have no board. So I think this is safer. To at least because they have a lot of these removal spells okay that's one is okay it's a four four i mean right when i need it also because of tivar now my plants have aced which is crucial mm, let's get this one So this here. I want to attack with this one. Look at the amount. Like crazy amount of plants I have. Ooh, that's rough. But I can still block. I have a 6-6. Six, six, and then I have a 3-4, so I can just block. Even that being an 8-8, eight, eight, it's fine. I even gain life. Yeah, I mean, it was just the plants. When the plants start planning, planting. That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes... You cannot plant, but when the plants start planting, it's pretty good. I can keep this. This will help me in my quest. Unfortunately, it's a bit slow in terms of lands, but that's okay. Okay, so I think I start with this. We'll surveil a bit. I actually want that to stay on top. Oh no. No, 
want my roots. Maybe I'll go for the underdog. Maybe they're all confused. Like, what's that thing? It's armless. It will not hurt anyone, I promise. Okay, so we can play this. We can play this. I can attack. Okay. So this is a cascade deck, I think. The Rakdos. Can this deck beat one of the best decks in the meta? I can try. No, do not do not even look at my roots, please. Like do not. Okay, it does nothing. Nothing. This is not a good card. Oh, okay, so it's something different. It has artifacts. Okay. No one ask me. So I can draw a card, because why not? Seed of Hope is great. Not a great way for me to win games. Four mana. Shieldred is on the radar. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they also have Underdog. That's okay. Do, n do not. I'll take it. If I'm above 10, I'm taking damage. Then we can reconsider. Because that thing starts getting kind of absurd, you know? Kind of absurd. I'm going to attack with... Okay, not with everything. Although... And I'm going to play this and pass. And they don't know about my seed of hope, which is the perfect secret. Okay, in that case, I'm going to do this. I did get a, like, a creature, which is good. Because that way I get to activate some things, at least gain some life. And the plants are starting to plant, you know what I mean? The plants be planting. That's okay. I can exile the card from the graveyard, which works pretty well for me. race I can try to race there's two cards left I'm threatening seven damage that's pretty aggressive then I can draw a card and play it okay then let's draw that's not bad This at least gains me life. Oh, not Shieldred. No, not Shieldred. I was hoping Shieldred was not on the plans. If you know what I mean. Okay, so. I gotta do that. And maybe I can do this. Take a lot of damage, and that children is still alive, dealing me more damage. So I need a miracle. So I can do this. I can do that. I can exile something from my own grave, just to make a plant.
Okay. And at least good game. Okay. If it is good game, what can ah not like that. Not like that. Good game. This is not a breach. I have nothing with breach. I'm dead though. Okay, I can keep this. I mean, I would prefer to have the black one drop, but at least I have Seed of Hope. And I have the Insidious Root, which is very important. Don't counter it. Don't you dare. Okay. No counter is good, but that's scary. This might be um Espert. Esper deck, yeah. I mean Test for counters. Do you let this resolve? Unfortunately, land is not what I was hoping to see. At least nothing was played. Resolve. So it did resolve. I'm gonna try play another one. I feel like I have to need to have creatures in the board here. They are developing too much. Then I don't mind trading with that knight. Yeah, that's great. Start using removal on that. It's totally fine. That's also okay. That's going to start getting a bit scary. But not much that I can do. So if I play another one, can I play maybe Tivar? And I really hope to eat the creature there. Got it. That's good. I think I want a dog here. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we are talking. So now I have mana actually. To do fun things. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at this. I mean, I can just I can just keep having fun, to be honest. I can just keep having fun. <laughs> oh my god! I need to be careful to not deck myself out. You know what I mean? That was solid, y'all. That was solid. Let's go. Way to go. And that's it. I mean, I basically lost as much as I won, but it was so much fun. Definitely add the surveillance if you can, because I didn't have the mana to do so. Uh, not the mana, the rare cards to do so. But do it if you can. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. If you're here, you probably are a fan of the channel because who else would watch the whole thing? So show me some support and a comment goes a long way. 
a like as well. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.